time that my mic fell off again. And everyone is leaving me already. That's... Ah. We're almost back home anyway. All right, ladies, gentlemen, and kitties. Today, I will be riding the Triumph Bonneville 1200 Speedmaster. Thanks to Southern California Motorcycles here in Brea, California. And this is a treat. I've never ridden a British cruiser before. Here we go. Uh, the key is down here on. There's a little ceremony there. And it's on rain mode for some reason, but oh well. Oh, very nice. Okay, while we're waiting, ergonomics check. I'm 6'3", 200 to 220 pounds with a 32 inch inseam and just like a cruiser I'm basically flat footed just like any other cruisers so let's adjust my mirrors here the mirrors are pre pretty tiny for a bike this size but it's manageable the lens are very, has very good visibility very nice I'm beginning, I'm beginning to like it already alright, let's go One thing I noticed, the front brakes is a little bit on a spongy side. Let me wait for this guy first. Very comfy. Whoa, very nice. It feels light. <laughs> the rear brakes is spongy too. So that's pretty good. His ex Diavel has a hazard light on. Oh, I'm beginning to like this. Mind you, the Speedmaster is the top of the line a motorcycle on this Bonneville series. Let's see how it goes. Oh, it sounds good. <laughs> and one thing I like about this bike too, it has a gear shift indicator. Yet, it doesn't have a tachometer. I don't care, it's a cruiser. It doesn't meant to go all out performance MotoGP. But this engine sounds very nice. This 1200cc engine, the Bonneville HT, uh, actually the uh, 1200 HT model is very nice. Look, it flicks really well. I like it already. It's a little bit clunky to use because it's a it's an analog bike I gotta hurry up very nice I feel at home with this bike already it's so smooth oh my gosh I'm falling in love with this This guy in the Diavel is weaving like crazy. One thing to notice, I have plenty of room. It's easy to put it to neutral. It feels light for a very classic st styled bike. Make sure if you want to put it to first gear, you gotta um, knock it down. Very nice. Rev matching this bike is pretty easy as long as you get used to it. Ooh, nice. W211 E55 AMG. Very nice car. All right, back to the topic. Rev matching this bike is seamless, easy. This gear shift indicator makes things so easy riding a bike like this. Take note, this is my first ever riding a Bonneville bike. I'll try Bonneville series. In fact, this is the top of the line Bonneville. <laughs> so I wonder how the T100 and T120 rides after I ride this. <laughs> if I compare this to other cruisers like some Harleys or Indian, 
<laughs> I think I like this better than these than the Scout but I think this is a lot more affordable compared to the Sport Glide that I've ridden already we'll see we'll see in the nice twisty canyon stuff look at that big tank big tank so British so nice For a bike like this, it responds very well. It doesn't respond obnoxiously as like the X Diavel. It's more of a sport bike compared to this. I can compare this bike to a traditional cruiser. But it doesn't, it feels, everything feels like a cruiser without the V-twin. Which makes things a little bit smoother. It doesn't juggle your bones to the floor or every cellulator in your body jiggling like there's no tomorrow but for cruising like this it's very satisfying to ride it's a different riding style you still sit very upright yet your feet are far uh, not far forward but it is forward to a certain degree it's not like a Harley that you have to spread out like crazy ah that's a big bump right there it really swallows it up pretty good uh, for a top-of-the-line bike it doesn't have cruise control Oh no, he does have a cruise control. Okay, all right, all right. I see a little button right here next to the horn. Unfortunately, the traffic right now is pretty, uh, let's say a little bit more po uh, busy. But the engine sounds so nice. I feel like I'm James Dean or Steve McQueen right now. It has that cool factor. No wonder Richard Hammond loves riding Triumphs. All right, RAV4, what are you doing? So far, while this RAV4 is crawling along. Thank you. I'm very impressed with this low speed capability. It doesn't feel like, it doesn't feel cumbersome as some of the traditional cruisers that I've ridden so far in my life. This is a very maneuverable vehicle. I love lane splitting. There should be a law in this country. Lane splitting should be legal. But this bike is so satisfying to ride even in traffic. It doesn't feel like... It doesn't feel taxing. Look at that, look at that. Brakes are very responsive, very nice. Am I speeding my tires? Am I spinning my tires every time if I shift aggressive like that? Because the revs are just freely going up and up and up. Oh well. For a cruiser, it's not overly aggressive, it's well balanced. It's very well balanced. You don't really feel the heft too much. It feels just right. The torque is right there too. It, according to the brochure, it says it has 91 something amount of torque. Oh, an I-8. Come on guys, come on. I like this demo day right now. Oh. On certain revs, uh, since it doesn't have a tack, I can feel the vibrations on my foot when the rev creeps up way more vibrations on my foot than on my hands in fact my hands is pretty okay right now it has less vibes than most um, uh, cruisers that I've ridden before my seats dampens it really well too so easy to ride in a cruiser like this I don't know if it's considered as a cruiser or a classic heritage or whatever. But it sure is comfortable for what it does. It's addicting at some point. 
but you don't have to push this bike to appreciate it you just do whatever you feel like it that's what I like about it this guy is just cruising right now on his um, Ducati Monster I'm just following his pace right now so oh well rev matching is so easy the gear selector only at first gear it gets really clunky but once you once you get moving it's pretty good already it's pretty okay the mirrors despite of its size it's very uh, visible the throttle the throttle mapping this bike is excellent the clutch engagement on this thing is somewhere in the middle before fully released so just to let you know the spring is pretty light so not light it's just right it's not too stiff it's not overly loose it does a right job see it doesn't it doesn't make your hand ache a bit unlike some cruisers they do to make your left hand uh, back to release the clutch all right guys let's go Wow, I can lean this. <laughs> I, sc <laughs> I scraped the I scraped the peg. Sorry, I leaned too much on that one. It's okay. Now we're about to approach the freeway to see how it does in the freeway I've ridden various cruisers on the freeway so this is a good test for this bike I hope these guys can keep I uh, can pick up the pace a little bit all right we're about to hit the freeway now come on guy come on Come on. I bet if I put the full taps on this engine, it will sound glorious. So far so good, typical cruiser, wind buffeting and everything. But one thing one thing amazing. Well well I'm not doing full highway speeds yet. What thing amazing is it doesn't buffet my helmet too much. Pretty amazing. Sure, it's a full, full frontal experience, but it doesn't. It really doesn't do much justice. It's it, it's very comfortable still, even in a freeway. I think this one has its own traction control thing, because once you give a give the taps out of this bike, it um. The clutch purposely slides the transmission for you not to do a stupid wheelie or burning out or whatever. I think that's what I'm feeling. Well, my mic just fell off earlier, so I got my mic back. This bike is very engaging in some degree I really like this motorcycle for what it is sure there are some compromises here and there whatsoever but it does it does the job it's very easy to ride in fact I'd rather have this bike than most of the cruisers that I've been riding so far Sucks up bumps really well here in California. And it's a very good everyday bike without dealing with the annoyance of being very bulky, very cumbersome, or something like that. It does it, it does it really good. It doesn't have that much of a, of the finesse of a X Diavel, but it has a, just the right amount of a maneuverability everything that you need in a cruiser you can do it 
just don't push it too much it has some safety precautionary areas that this bike has I'm just so happy right now I get to ride this bike Damn it, earlier my mic fell off. I gotta give it more play on my wires next time. That was a stupid mistake. Oh, nice bird man. Nice Suzuki bird man. Looks like it's a 400. On low revs, lower revs, it, it's, it's very, very smooth, buttery smooth. I really like this bike. I think this bike is like around 14, 13 to 14,000. That's pretty good. Here we go, back again. Alright, put it to neutral. Close. The key is right here, which is odd. And kickstand is pretty pretty easy to find. And here you go. The Triumph Bonneville 1200 RT. Look at the shiny pipes. Classic Triumph tank classic triumph everything it's a very nostalgic classic bike oh there's another key oh that's for the steering lock look at that it has dual exhaust delivers a very good soundtrack a seat for your girlfriend or a tank bag whatsoever very very classic bike Two thumbs up, despite my mic keeps falling off. I'll see you guys later. Peace out.